Hi. Good morning, students. In today's session, you are going to see the supplementary from Unit 2, The Fun They Had. It has been written by Isaac Asimov. And in this supplementary lesson, we are going to see about the futuristic school. In, in the future, how the school should be without the teacher, without the concept of book. So let us see what are all the funny things that is going to happen in the years to come. See here in this picture, students are being seated and a computer is teaching. A machine, a mechanical teacher is teaching the kids. Let us see in detail how things go on in the future. So as I said in the beginning, we are going to see the Unit 2 Supplementary, The Fun They Had. It has been written by Isaac Asimov and we are going to see Part 1. Uh, before we start the lesson, let me say a few words about the author Isaac Asimov. Isaac Asimov was born on January 2nd, 1920. He was an American writer and a professor of biochemistry at Boston University. He was known for his work of science fiction and faith popular science. Asimo was a prolific writer and edited more than 500 books, an estimated 90,000 letters and postcards. Asimo wrote hard science fiction along with Robert A. Hillelin and Arthur C. Clarke. He was considered one of the best science fiction writers during his lifetime. Coming to the lesson, this lesson it has been imagined that as if it has been written in 2157. Now let us start. Read the story to find out how a student like Maggie studies in year 2157. Margie even wrote about it that night in her diary. So this little girl Margie, she had the habit of writing diary. Everything had happened in the day course. She has written everything in her diary. On the page headed, headed 17 May 2157, she wrote, Today, Tommy found a real book. It was a very old book. Of course, it would be a very old book. Margie's grandfather once said that when he was a little boy, his grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper. So that was the story this little Margie she heard from her great grandfather. In the times of his great grandfather they had printed everything on papers. They turned the pages which were yellow and crinkly and it was 
awfully fun to read words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to do on a screen you know here crunky means the pages had many folds or lines since it was very old and it was awfully fun she had extreme fun to read the words and that to the words were very still they were not moving how the words would be moving on the screen it was not moving so it she had something new and then when turned back to the page before it had the same words on it that it had when they read it the first time so it was something funny for her she could not she did not see those things earlier in her life as i said crinky means with many folds or lines then awfully means very or extremely e said tommy what was waste when you were when you were through the book when you were through the book you just throw it away i guess our television screen must have had a million books on it and it is good for plenty more so tommy is saying that what a waste when you are through with the book when you have finished learning or studying that book we just throw it away but in our television screen we would be having millions of books and even more you can even just store it so he is saying that you just throw away the book same with mine said margi so margi is also accepting that yes i too after learning after reading i just throw it she was 11 and hadn't seen as many tele books as tommy had so she was a little girl anger to tommy and she's just admitting that i'm just 11 and i could not see many books as you he was 13 who was 13 tommy was 13 she said where do you find it where do you find this book in my house he pointed without looking because he was busy reading in the attic attic means a space just below the roof used as a store room so this book was found in the store room what was it about school so that book was about the school morgi was scornful school scornful means feeling condemned so what is that to write about school nothing is that to write about school i hate school so magi is telling that i hate school as most of us students they say during the working days they hate school so once they are at home continuously for 2 3 days or 5 days after then they love to be in the school they love to come to school but this little girl she is telling that i hate school magi always hated school but now 
she hated it more than ever. The mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography and she had been doing worse and worse until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully and sent for the county inspector. So she had a terrible experience because of the school. So she is heading school. He was a round little man. Who is that round little man? The inspector, the county inspector, with a red face and a whole box of tools with dials and wires. So, of course, the county inspector, it is a robot. He smiled at Maggie and gave her an apple. So, it is just offering an apple to Maggie. Then took the teacher apart. Margie had hoped he wouldn't know how to put it together again. But he knew, he knew how all right. And after an hour or so, there it was again, large and black and ugly, with a big screen on, which all the lessons were shown and the questions were asked. So after one hour everything was resolved, the problem was resolved and she was again exposed to the questions and they were asking questions from the lesson. The part Maggie hated most was the slot where she had to put homework and test papers. So just attending the school, it is okay for her. But the most hated thing concerning Maggie was about the homework and the test papers. She always had to write them out in a bunch code they made her learn when she was six years old. And the mechanical teacher calculated the marks in no time. So whatever she is just writing in the paper for the test, the mechanical teacher, since it is a machine, it took no time to calculating the marks. The inspector had smiled after she was finished. So after Maggie was finished, Inspector is just smiling and patted Maggie's head, just touched Maggie's head. He said to her mother, It isn't not the little girl's fault, Mrs. Jones. So it is not the fault of this little Maggie. Maybe this would be the fault of the teacher, maybe. So the county inspector is giving a verdict to Mrs. Jones, that is Maggie's mother. Then, I think geography sector was geared a little too quickly. So maybe the geography sector, they have fastened they have speeded their pace. Maybe because of that she may have failed. Those things happen sometimes. So this would be a occasional thing. So sometimes it would happen in school. Just leave it. The county inspector is just giving a feedback to her mother. I have slowed it up to an average 10 year level. So, the county inspector is telling that, so, since she had some uh, problem in understanding, I have slowed her pace to the level of the 10-year-old girl. Even though she is 11, she was considered as a 10-year-old. Actually, the overall pattern 
of her progress is quite satisfactory so he is telling okay good so overall her thing is good satisfactory and he patted maggie's head again so second time the county inspector is giving a pat just patting her head at the back maggie was disappointed but maggie she did not expect that she had been hoping they would take the teacher away altogether so she was thinking that they will remove the teacher but it didn't happen in her case they had once taken tommy's teacher away for nearly a month because the history sector had blanked out completely so in her case itself they have taken the teacher away in history sector because they had the sector had blanked out completely for some time so they had removed so just like that she was expecting the geography sector or the geography teacher to be removed but it didn't happen so she said to tommy why would anyone write about school so I, since she had the bad experience about school she didn't like to write about school tommy looked at her with superior rise because it isn't not a kind of school stuff eh? that is different in in the times of our great grandfather it wasn't like this it's that different scenario this is the whole kind of school that they had hundreds and hundreds of years ago he added loftily pronouncing the word carefully centuries ago so loftily means something done in a proud or haughty way manner then century means a period of 100 years maggie was hurt well i don't know about i don't know what kind of school they had all that time ago so she doesn't worry about the school what they had in the yesterday years since she had a bad experience about school she doesn't want to write about school here so children with this let me stop the remaining things let us see in the next session until then take care bye bye thank you children